Where we are today, we're a lot better than where we are, let's say, day one of last summer. And that's because of just the off-season training we we're able to do. And, you know, running an organization, you got to make sure all the arrows are pointing in the same direction, uh, whether it's your coaching staff, whether it's your off-the-field staff, academics, strength and conditioning, training room. And I really, for the first time when I come, where I feel great. I feel like the arrows are all pointing in the right direction. Everybody's on the same page. We got new coaches. You know, I got to make sure our coaches are all on the same page. So uh, I'm just excited. I mean, it's great to come to work every day. We got great young men and to see where we go day one to where we end on April 23rd, day 50, I'm excited to see. For us, and I'm only saying where we are, we're light years ahead, you know, because we've had time to go through two seasons, mm -hmm. see what we can do. Our offensive line, we got a lot of a lot of returning starters on both sides of the ball that have played a lot of football. You know, for me to see the the, the strength gains that they are able to get the last three months, the weight gains we're able to do. You know, we say that size matters in this league. You got to be big and you got to be strong. So now to take what we did in the weight room and be able to transfer that to the field, yeah, I, I, you know, day one practice, I feel a lot better than we did day one, whether it was the fall or last spring because of that growth. You know, we, besides lifting, besides academics and all those, you know, we have a leadership council. We, you know, we want to be a player led team. And how do you do that? You, you got to give your players responsibility. That's another objective that we wanted to attack this off season, be player led, hold each other accountable whether it's on the field, whether it's academically, whether it's off the field, what we do on Friday, Saturdays, and you know, that's continuing to grow, you know, that we're a player led. To bring a team together, you gotta have a brotherhood, you gotta play for each other. You know, we don't get to go on the field and, and play the game of football. So there's gotta be that brotherhood between the guy to the left of you and guy to the right of you. And hopefully we develop those on uh, those Wednesday. We did eight weeks of Wednesday morning, 6 a.m. workouts to hopefully build, you know, when you sacrifice together, you, you, you start to care for one another. So, you know, we're hoping to see a lot of that continue as we head into spring football. I always say this in spring, number one question. I, I said this to our players and I said it to the coaches yesterday in the team meeting. We got to come spring, see what our players can do. Let's fit our players to the scheme that fits for them. You know, I've never been a believer that you try to have a scheme and then try to throw players in it. So next 15 days, we got to evaluate what our young men can do defensively, what we can continue to do offensively, and what let's find ways for them to be successful. Whether it's a four down defense to a three down defense to a blitzing defense, man zone coverage. You know, that's, you know, as coaches, we got to find out what our kids can do and then fit them into a scheme where they can be successful. Well, I think you always got to have goals and, you know, our goals is every day is still to continue to learn how to practice, you know, the attitude, the effort, learning how to compete at the same time, learning about unit strength and our unit strength, that's the communication that goes, whether it's wide receivers to defensive backs to the defensive unit, offensive unit, special teams. So every day coming out, making sure those communications, then working on situations, you know, those are the one things we, we just been playing football and situations happen in a football game, you know, so for us to focus in on situational football, you know, we always say practice execution, you know, turns into game reality. You know, so to be able to break the game down into whether it's red zone, whether it's third down, uh, whether it's two minute offense, four minute offense, the critical eight, you know, four minutes before half, four minutes after half. So a lot of spring ball is really educating our, our young men too on situational football. Because when you get to a game, it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen real fast.